We believe that PFA may take over over the next years because of its advantages of cardiac selectivity and um, its nature of being able to create non-thermal but still irreversible lesions in the heart. The Therapos PFA device is a tool which will allow many more operators to treat many more patients with a very reproducible acute but also um, long-term outcome. I think what is driving the field in, in medical science is scientific data. Um, and clinical data is, of course, super important because we need to make decisions based not on feelings, but rather based on um, reproducible facts. And therefore, randomized clinical trials are very, very important. Large registries are super important. Um, and all these coming together, of course, at this point in time, um, the Fairpuls device is leading the field. Perfecto. For me, the future of treatment of atrial fibrillation is early rhythm control. I have no doubt that if you want to prevent stroke, you need first-line early treatment. And with early cardiac warning systems, we detect the atrial fibrillation from the beginning. If we treat the patients early, we won't have progression to persistent atrial fibrillation as much as we have. So also the procedures will tend to become more and more straightforward. I also believe that um, those very, let's say, short and rapid and fast procedure times we have been observing in our daily practice um, may also open up the door into a new group of patients. I may be a little provocative, but I am convinced electric recardi version versus a PVA PVI procedure is not too much difference. So therefore, I may foresee in future that patients coming from the emergency room may be offered even as an alternative a PVI procedure using electroporation. It is great that we now have a tool for a very effective AF ablation. What I am very interested is in using these techniques for other arrhythmias as well. We are still at the beginning of our pulse field journey. We will be able to take this energy source to the ventricles to maybe more effectively treat ventricular tachycardias, um, especially given the fact that this, of course, will all be integrated into 3D mapping systems. So uh, I think aside from the, the safety aspects and the efficacy aspects for atrial fibrillation, it's the, the, the versatility, the platform, and it, that it offers to go to take this energy everywhere in the heart and to treat all types of arrhythmias. If you would told us 20 years ago that we would find a strategy that doesn't seem to create PV stenosis or esophageal fistulization, everybody would have immediately signed for this approach. We are into a revolution of our field with introduction of new energy sources and it is, uh, it's great to be part of this. It's a super exciting time to be an EP. Pulse field ablation has the potential to really become a game changer. Many, many patients these days are already asking specifically for getting treatment uh, using this device because they also learned about its potential um, safety benefits. We're truly entering a new era of catheter ablation. Perhaps pulse field ablation is a wave that passes through electrophysiology, a wave that we should be prepared to jump on.